Hello everyone, welcome to the TGK series of Drishti IS. I am Ritu and today we are going to discuss TGK question of UPSC prelims. So, the first question is, recently the term aptodites posteri was in news. It is related to, the first option is, Frisian horse, emperor penguins, white crowned sparrow, leopard tortoise. And the answer would be B. Recently, a study unveiled that the effects of climate change have influenced emperor penguins placing them at the heightened risk of quasi instruction apnodites posteri scientific name of emperor penguins the researchers from the british antarctic survey mentioned that the colonies of emperor penguins failed to breed at a level never seen before in antarctica the study predicted that 90 percent of the emperor penguins will be quasi instinct by the end of the century under the current global warming trajectory Emperor penguins are entirely dependent on sea ice for breeding. They need stable sea ice that's firmly attached to the shore to the breed and nurture their young ones. Penguins lay eggs in Antarctic winter from May to June at their breeding sites, but the chicks do not fledge until at least December. The study claimed that in some region west of the Antarctic Peninsula, 100% of the sea ice had melted away in November 2022. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Coming to the first question, consider the following statement regarding the National Sports Day. It is celebrated in India every year on 30th of August. The second statement is the theme of the year is sports are an enabler to inclusive and fit society. Which of the statement given above is are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, neither one nor two. Answer is B. Recently, India won its first gold medal at the World Athletics Championship. The National Sports Day in India is celebrated on 29th August every year. Hence, statement 1 is not correct. The theme for this year National Sports Day celebration is Sports are an enabler to an inclusive and fit society. Hence, statement 2 is correct. It is celebrated to commemorate the birth anniversary of hockey legend Major Dhyan Chand Singh, born on 29th August 1905. His career spanned from 1926 to 1948 and ended as one of the greatest hockey player of all time after having represented India 185 matches and scored over 400 goals during this period. His skills mesmerized the world guiding India to three consecutive Olympic hockey gold medals in 1928, 32, 36. The first National Sports Day was celebrated on August 29, 2012. Hence, this year marks the 12th anniversary of Rashtriya Khel Divas. Therefore, option B is correct. Coming to the question 2, consider the following statement regarding Aditya L1. It will be India's second observatory to study the sun. It will be launched by NASA rocket. Which of the statement given above is our correct? One only, two only, both one and two, neither one nor two. Answer is D. Recently, ISRO confirmed the launch date for its high anticipated sun mission Aditya L1. This is the first space-based Indian observatory to study the sun from ISRO which will be scheduled for launch on September 2, 2023 at 11.50 IST from Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota, hence statement 1 is not correct. Ishtro mentioned that the spacecraft would be launched by a PSLV C-57 rocket, hence statement 2 is not correct. The mission Aditya L1 from Ishtro will travel for total distance of 1.4 million kilometers from Earth, which is our four times as far as the moon. First, the spacecraft will be placed in a low Earth orbit and then it will be made more elliptical to launch towards the Langrange point L1 using on road propulsion. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Coming to the question 3, consider the following statement regarding magic rice. First statement is, it is the name given to Asham's Chokwa rice. Chokwa rice is a semi-glutinous. It is a pre-boiled dried, then stored and soaked dried before consumption. How many of the statement given above is are correct? Only one, only two, all three, none. Answer is C. Recently, Assam Chokua rice or magic rice earned a GI tag. Magic rice is a term used to describe Assam Chokua rice due to its unique characteristic of quick and easy preparation. Hence, statement one is correct. Chokua rice is basically a semi-glutinous winter rice known as the Sali rice, hence statement 2 is correct. This whole grain can be consumed after soaking the rice in cold or lukewarm water. This rice is pre-boiled, dried, then stored and soaked right before consumption. Hence statement 3 is correct. The low anomalous Chokua rice variants are used to make soft rice, which is known as the Komal Chol or soft rice. 
This rice is also used in making several Assamese delights like piche or other local dishes. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Coming to the question 4, consider the following statement regarding first electric flex fuel vehicles. The first statement is, it is a product developed by the collaboration of India and Germany. The second is, it will be run on combination of electricity and gasoline. Which of the statement given above is our correct? One only, two only, both one and two, neither one nor two. Answer is D. Recently, the Union Minister launched the world's first BS6 stage 2 electric flex fuel vehicle. It is developed by India alone, not in collaboration with Germany. Hence, statement 1 is not correct. The new Toyota Innova will run on 100% ethanol and could be an important step in the move towards alternative fuels. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. The new car would be also generate 40% electricity, bringing the effective price of ethanol much lower. Last year, the Union Ministry has launched a hydrogen-powered car, the Toyota Mirai EV. The car was launched as a pilot project aimed at creating a green hydrogen ecosystem in India. By creating awareness about the utility of the green hydrogen and fuel cell electric vehicles technology. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Coming to the next question, consider the following statement regarding Pradhan Mantri Jan Dhan Yojana. PMJDY is a financial inclusion scheme launched in August 2016. Its primary objective is to ensure access to financial services. Which of the statement given above is our correct? One only, two only, both one and two, neither one nor two. Answer is B. Recently, Pradhan Mantri Jan Dhan Yojana has achieved a significant milestone by crossing 500 million mark. PMJDY is a flagship financial inclusion scheme launched by the Government of India in August 2014. Hence, statement 1 is not correct. PMJDY is ensuring access to various financial services like availability of basic saving bank accounts, access to need-based credit, remittances, facilities, insurance and pension to the excluded section. Weaker sections and low income groups, hence statement 2 is correct. Pradhan Mantri Jandhan Yojana PMJDY is one of the biggest financial inclusion initiative in the world. The beneficiaries get rupee debit card having inbuilt accident insurance covering of 1 lakh. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Coming to the next question. Recently, the term Vyo Mitra was in news. It is related to humanoid, electric car, drone, flower species. Answer is A. Recently, Union Minister stated that trials for India's first mission to send people into space will begin in October. ISRO aims to conduct test flights with a female robot named Vyon Mitra. It will be sent on the Gaganyaan mission. The humanoid is designed to function in a few tasks to assess how humans would behave when in space. The Gaganyaan project envisages demonstration of human space flight capability by launching a crew of three members to an orbit of 400 km for a three-day mission and bringing them back safely to Earth by landing in Indian sea waters. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Moving to the next question, consider the following statement regarding India's solar loop cycling track. The first statement is Mumbai becomes the first city to have a solar roof cycling track. The cycling track is 10 km wrong. Which of the statement given above is our correct one only, two only, both one and two, neither one nor two. Answer is D. Recently, Hyderabad got India's first solar roof cycling track. Hyderabad, the capital and the largest city of the state of Telangana, became the India's first city to have solar roof cycling track. Hence, statement 1 is not correct. Named the Hithway, the 23 km featured two stretches, an 8.5 km lane from the Nankrama Gudda to Telangana State Police Academy and 14.5 km lane from Kolu to Narsinghi, both meeting at Narsinghi Junction. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. There will be the cycle renters, bike repair stations at access point, food trucks and car parking where people can park their own vehicles. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Moving to the next question, consider the following statement regarding the Horn of Africa region. The first statement is it is located in the eastern part of Africa. The second is it includes countries like Somalia, Ethiopia and Dibujoti. Which of the statement given above is our correct? One only. Two only, both one and two, neither one nor two. Explanation and answer is C. Recently, the Intergovernmental Authority on Development, IGAD Climate Prediction and Application Center released a forecast indicating that the Greater Horn of Africa is anticipated to experience a heavy rainfall during the period from October to December 2023, situated on the furthest 
eastern edge of the african mainland this landmass rank as the fourth largest peninsula globally it represents the utmost easternmost prolongation of the african continent hence statement 1 is correct it is composed of ethiopia eritrea somalia djibouti broader definitions also include part of the kenya sudan south sudan and uganda hence statement 2 is correct therefore option c is the correct answer coming to the next question consider the following statement regarding pollution daman is the most polluted city in the world the second is 39 cities among the 50 most polluted are in india which of the statement given above is are correct one only two only both one and two neither one nor two so recently the answer is c recently the university of chicago energy policy institute in its air quality index said that air pollution is now a major risk of life expectancy in south asia tamam saudi arabia is the most polluted city in 2023 hence statement one is correct swiss air quality technology company iq in its airport mentioned that the 39 out of 50 most polluted cities in the world are in india hence statement 2 is correct india was the world's eighth most polluted city in 2022 rising air pollution can cut life expectancy by more than 5 years per person in south asia one of the world's most polluted regions therefore option c is the correct answer coming to the next question recently the term Tachyglossidae was in news. It is related to rabbit, echidnas, porcupine, hedgehog. Answer is B. The animal that senses electric fields, tolerates snow, and has mating trains recently in the news. Echidnas look like a quickie blend of hedgehog and antenna, but they are not related to the creatures at all. Australia has just one species, the short-beaked echidna, which roams virtually the entire continent. Short-beaked echidnas. are one of the five species of montreal surviving in the world these ancient mammals lay eggs through these colquas they are remarkably adaptive to climate change ranging from desert to snow therefore option b is the correct answer coming to the last question recently the term nab mitra was in news it is related to fisherman military students doctor you have to answer this in the comment section i hope you like this session thank you